Been joined by uh, Bernard Mensah for Aldershot Town. He's obviously a stats man because I just went to find out what his goals and assists were for the season. He's confirmed that it is now seven assists and six goals. Yeah. Bernard, you, you're pleased with that contribution? Yeah, but you always want more. Um, there's been a few chances in games and a lot like recently. I'd work in game, had a chance to put us ahead, and the one here I've come through near the end and I've missed. So obviously, I would like more goals and more assists, but. Obviously it's about the team and once the team's won that's the main thing for us to push up the table and put pressure on people above us because we had a sticky patch in October, November where we didn't well, we basically got like two points from about 12 games I will. Um, and um, yeah we need to make that right and uh, game points, we haven't got a game next week, other people have got games so it's put pressure on them before before they play. Nice to be looking forward as well now, yeah. back to back derby wins yeah. uh, over Christmas and New Year, that was good. Was it a run? Well, it was certainly a change in fortunes. Now with a third win, it, it's become a run. It's a momentum that's building again and, and vital that we do with, uh, you know, with, with the week off next week. Let's talk about the most impressive thing for me about this Aldershot Town performance today. Literally everybody out there contributed. Yeah. Everybody was on their game. Mm -hmm. uh, and when this young side, everyone's on their game, it must be an absolute joy to play. In. Oh, no, 100%. It's, uh, well, I've been at Barnet when we got promoted. I've been at Braintree where we just missed out on the playoffs and this is probably the best football inside I've been at in the, in the conference. And um, and the best skipper you've played under as well, yeah, by any chance? Uh, oh, hello Callum! Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, 100% what well, I'm calling me. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, one of the best passing football footballing teams I've seen in this league. There's not many in this league and we're definitely up there. But um, everyone to a man done their job today and it's been like that the last three games, everyone's come together and put in a performance. We're a bit disappointed that we can see it at the end because obviously a clean sheet will top it off. But like I said, man to man, <laughs> uh, man to man, um, we all done a job and uh, yeah, got the three points and now we're looking up rather than behind us and everyone's looking down thinking, oh, they've won three on the bounce, so they could be a, a threat to us. For anybody watching this interview, I, I, Bernard may not have caught that in his mouth, but he did control it wonderfully on his left foot and he volleyed it into the tunnel area, so well done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a sweep. Yeah. Now, a, 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 lot of, um, a lot of all Shot Town supporters talk about the, the passion and the hunger in this, in this side, mm -hmm. um, very often typified by Jake and his runs to the East Bank and the fist pumping. Yeah. But, I've noticed something as well. I think if there's one other player I pick out that really, really hates it when we lose yeah. and really, really enjoys a win, it's yourself, isn't it? Your passion is uh, very, very clear for all to see. Yeah, I hate losing like uh, in anything. Play what basketball, chess, any any game, any game. I hate losing. Mm. And um, I mean, you can see it when we score. I think I celebrate more than the person who scored. And when we lose, I'm probably one of the most like down people for the next couple of days but like I said we've, we've won three on a bounce and the morale on the team's really high and hopefully we can take that into things Gates said in a couple of weeks time where um, obviously they're they're trying to push up as well so hopefully we can put it in put in a great uh, performance again over there and uh, come back here and like, please our fans like I said the fans are really good for us they push us on both working games the turnout home and away I think we had more fans in them away Ooh. so it made it feel like a home game and here again they, they packed out the crowd so with them behind us, we felt like we can we can do anything. I was asked recently, uh, you know, what what was kind of the USP, if you like, of, of this Aldershot Town side, and I said, well, it's it's packed full. It's, there are some experienced players, of course, mm -hmm. but it's packed full of young, hungry players now. In Dion, mm -hmm. uh, in Kundai, yeah. in yourself, and in Idris. Yeah. Four players who've all been at bigger clubs, mm -hmm. you know, that have come through the uh, academy systems. <coughs> but the thing that stands out for me is no matter that you've dropped a level, mm -hmm. you're all absolutely loving your football. Yeah. And, you, and, and, and that's all you really want, isn't it? No, yeah, that's one of the main reasons yeah. I came here to play and to fall in love with football again. Obviously, yeah. being at Watford was, was great, but there were so many players there that you weren't going to get a chance. And coming here with the gaffer and the boys, everyone's loving their football. And we say we're inexperienced. I'd, I'd say I'm one of the most experienced in the dressing room I've played at this level. Well, for three seasons, pretty much. And um, no, Dion's coming. You just he's look all... younger than you are, obviously. Well, 22, so. <laughs> yeah. No, but. Um, no, young, no, so, yeah, still young, but obviously I've played at this level before, so I know what to expect. But the boys have taken to it well. I mean, Kundai's come in. This is his first, well, professional season, I guess, or half season even. And he's taken to it really well. And Dion's come in, hasn't looked out of place. Idris started off at 16, now he's 17. 
none of them look out of place and if we keep going the way we're going we're going to mature together and become a real force hopefully yeah it's really really enjoyable to watch and it's good for you to be able to get that feedback from us the fans because you know this football club hasn't particularly enjoyed that in the last three or four years it's been tough times actually and uh, you know that's kind of bottomed out and now we can feel things rising again shots consolidated seventh position today there's some good sides above us it's yeah. going to be i mean make no mistakes it's going to be mightily hard to try and penetrate further up the table uh, and i guess the capabilities there but what we really need is the consistency no 100% um, we weren't we were consistent at the start of the season fell off mm. and now we're starting to pick up back again but the main thing for us we've got quite a few of the teams above us at home we've got Lincoln at home we've got Barrow at home and a couple of others at home because we played them away mm. so if we can do what we've done at home in the last couple of games and put teams to bed then we'll definitely be up there with a shout but obviously it's up to us we have to do what we've got to do to, to get the results but but we're on the right path, we're on the right path for now. Now I'm pretty sure there's no game next weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't think any fixtures have been rearranged. Yeah. Uh, any, any idea what the uh, the situation is for you players? Will you actually obviously train hard during the weekend and maybe be given the weekend off to do? I'm going to Dubai. You're going to Dubai? Yeah, I'm going to go to Dubai. Um, yeah, it's too cold here, so I'm <laughs> the gaffer gives us a whole week off and I'm flying to Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring Sham with me. I may be straight, but um, yeah, hope, nah, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, no, we have, to, we have to train hard. We can't off, like, step off it because uh, we've been on it the last three weeks ever since we lost at, uh, to Chester. Mm. We've been on it, so we have to stay on it in training and hopefully that comes through and we perform again. Like Kate said, we've got a week off, but we can't take our foot off it because once we're ahead, mm. we can't let it slip because there's teams wanting to catch us and there's teams above us that's trying to pull away from us. So, we have to keep our foot on the gas and uh, hopefully uh, repeat performance like Kate said and we'll take the three points there and move on. We need to get a run together to get back to where we as a team want to be and as a club want to be. Because like you said, we haven't, or the club in general hasn't been where they want to be in the last three years and everyone here is trying to make a difference to push them in the right direction. Could sum it up any better than that, Bernard. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for another great enjoyable performance. Thank we'll you. see you up again, Cheers. said.